Okay, so in this series of videos, what I'm going to be doing is explaining a 3D drawing technique called isometric drawing. Okay, uh, the, the purpose of this basically as a design student, um, I feel it's absolutely paramount that you are able to communicate your ideas clearly, okay, which means to get your ideas across. And one of the best ways to do this is through three dimensional drawing, I mean, through two dimensional drawings as well, okay, but three dimensional drawings. And one of the uh, most used uh, drawing techniques is isometric drawing. Now, isometric drawing is a three dimensional drawing technique, okay, and it's used by engineers and designers and technical illustrators, okay. And the advantage of this is it shows the idea of depth, so we can see sort of three dimensions on, on the, the um, uh, drawing and on the product, but it doesn't uh, distort the object as you might find when you're doing a perspective drawing, as you might have done in art, for example, okay. So it does have advantages, and what we can also show is with the different size, we can show the sides and the size of uh, each of these objects accurately in the drawing as well, okay? Now, isometric drawing, before you start, you'll notice there's a link to uh, a site on the, the bottom of my uh, page here, on the bottom of my YouTube page, and it will lead you to some uh, templates like this, where you can download a template like this, and this is an isometric drawing template. So you'll notice it's a type of grid paper, and the difference with uh, isometric grid paper to normal grid papers, you'll see that we've got lines going up and down or at 90 degrees to basically like a, a horizon line or a, the bottom of the paper there, okay? But you've also got two other lines on the page and one line is going off in this direction like this and it's going off at 30 degrees again to this, this kind of perceived horizon line on the bottom of the page and we've got another line going off in the opposite direction like this but again, it's going off at an equal and opposite angle of 30 degrees going to the page here. Now, what these two lines are for, I'm just going to draw the third one in there. So we've obviously got one line going up like this. Okay. What these three lines are for is to display three different axes. Okay. You might know about axes when you've done this in maths. So you might have seen a graph. Now, if we imagine we've drawn a graph and we've got one line going up and one line going across, you might have seen it on... Uh, a maths sheet, for example, as a y-axis, and you might have labelled your axes like this, and an x-axis, okay? Now, if we're drawing in three dimensions, what we're basically saying is that these two sides become the um, the uh, the axes we're using for one side of our object. So if I just bring an object in, okay, and we place it down like this, what we're actually seeing is our y-axis is the, the line going up, so the edge of this bottle here is the y-axis, or on the y-axis, and our x-axis there is going across, so it's showing these two axes here. Now, what you won't see on a graph, or most graphs, is a third axis. However, shapes have three dimensions, so they have three axes, the y, the x, and we also have what we might call the z-axis, which is the depth plane. So in the case of my drawing here, we would label the, the z-axis there as the green axis. Now, as I said before, what you'll notice is every line on a y-axis, or a rule when we're doing isometric drawing, is every line that's drawn on a y-axis, which is this upright, this upright, and this upright effectively, will be on the same angle, will be drawn at the same angle, which is 90 degrees to this horizon line or the base of the page effectively. So if I was going to try and draw a cube, the first thing I'd draw is draw a line up like this, okay, to indicate this line here, and I might draw another line up next to it, once I've decided how wide I want my cube to be, for example, to show two lines there, and a third side, there we go, we'll just draw it up over here like this, trying to stay on the lines like that. And again, what you'll notice is all of these three lines are parallel to each other, very important, and 90 degrees to the baseline. Now if we focus on this side first, or this plane as we might call it, what we're seeing there is a combination of the y-axis and the x-axis. We've drawn the first line in on the x-axis, which is the bottom of the, uh, the plane there, and the top of the plane will be at the top of the box. So what we're going to do is draw one more line in, just up here, and what you'll notice again is that these two lines are parallel to each other, and they are 30 degrees to that horizon line or the base of the page, whichever you prefer. So what we've drawn there, in that, that section there, is the first side of a box. And this is what we're going to try and draw, a simple box using this isometric drawing technique. So hopefully what you can see there is one side, or one surface effectively, of the box. Now if we move on to this side of the shape, 
In this case, I'm just drawing a simple cube or a box, okay? What we need to do is complete that side as well. So all we do is use that Z axis this time, 30 degrees to the horizon line, and we just draw in the top surface there. And again, if I shade this in again, what you should see is another plane or another side or surface of the box. So we've now drawn this side and this side. Now what we're left with, because we're seeing it kind of from this perspective here, okay, is just the top to draw in. Now, it's very easy to hopefully visualize this once you're, you're used to it, okay, but what you should see is that there's one line that needs to go off in this direction, okay, to complete our, our cube, our isometric cube, or our isometric box, and there's one line that's going off in this direction here, and what again you'll notice is that this line, this line, and this line are all parallel with each other, this line, this line and this line are also all parallel with each other to complete the third plane or surface or elevation if you like of my box that I've drawn. So what you've done there is you've created a three dimensional cube using the isometric drawing technique. Now to check your work um, what you can do is just to check to make sure that all of the lines on this up down plane or as I'm calling it the Y plane so this one, this one and this one are all 90 degrees to the bottom of the sheet, or in the case of isometric paper, they're on those lines going up like that. And we check that this line and this line and this line are all parallel. And then we go the other way and we check that on the Z uh, axis that these lines are also all parallel. And then we should find um, that we've done a fairly good isometric sketch of a cube or a box. Okay. Now, I said when you start off, it's useful to kind of download these templates and use uh, these as a guide. What you might also want to do is, when you get a little bit better, is rather than relying on the, the grid, because it does limit you to these boxes, is to lay a sheet of paper over the top, and then you can see the grid through, so you can get a much cleaner drawing, okay? And eventually what we want to do is take the stabilizers off and get rid of the grid entirely and practice working just on uh, plain paper, because I feel uh, the problem with using grids all the time is it slows your sketches down, which means you can't communicate the ideas as quickly. And when you get uh, a bit more used uh, to doing this, what you'll find is that you can draw, you know, lines going up like this to demonstrate that kind of y-axis, okay? You sh should find also that you get quite adept at drawing lines off at sort of 30 degrees to each other to show an x axis like this and you should therefore be able to do lines going off in the equal and opposite direction like this to show the idea of Z depth and what you should see hopefully from uh, doing it like that is that you should quite quickly be able to create three dimensional cubes in the, the first instance for example okay which should give an idea of three dimensional techniques okay so have a go with that first uh, sketching technique and follow the videos as you get more and more confident with isometric drawing good luck